And that winter storm warning continues. It's already in effect through 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. Travel right now, slow down. Roads very slick because temperatures are only around 20 degrees and that that powdery snow that's falling very crystalline. It's going to compact under your car tires and make sliding and slipping very, very prevalent uh, through the next couple of hours. Again, slow uh, down, even though this warning goes all the way till tomorrow evening. Here's our storm max radar snow just everywhere across eastern southern Wisconsin from the Madison area south into northern Illinois and north all the way up towards Green Bay. We're seeing the snow coming in and developing uh, from the southwest, but it's actually pretty much developing right on top of us. It's north of a warm front. You can see Milwaukee County getting just light snow right now. No really big heavy snow bands yet, but I think those bands will start to increase. We're starting to see a little bit of an increase in intensity on the south side of Milwaukee. Now we'll pull way out with our radar system, and you can see this band of snow from east to west goes all the way into the Dakotas, covering northern Iowa, southern Minnesota. Again, we're going to see a lot of snow. This is going to be a long duration event with a couple just lulls. Uh, the biggest one on Saturday morning. We expect 9 to 11 inches north of Milwaukee from the northern parts of Ozaki and Washington counties up through Sheboygan and Fond du Lac. Generally 7 to 9 inches everywhere else with right along the Illinois border 5 to 7 inches there. These are the temperatures I'm talking about. Very cold right now. 15 in Watertown, 15 in Whitewater, 12 in Waukesha, 19 Port Washington and Milwaukee, Racine and Kenosha just jumping up to 20 degrees. So there's the warm front trying to get in. You can see the heavier snow showers and, and light snow in the evening hours. And then Saturday uh, morning around 2.30, that band goes through. We get a little break on Saturday morning. Then in the afternoon, more snow develops right on into the evening hours. Finally, the cold, cold air moves in. And that will settle in for Sunday. Sunday is going to be brutally cold. Tonight, the snow continues on three to five inches on the ground by morning, 20 degrees. Your overnight low temperatures will steady out right around there. 26 tomorrow with snow, another two to four on top of that. Winds will start to increase. And Saturday night, the snow ends early, probably before 10 or 11 o'clock. And it will be light, 15 degrees. But those temperatures will be steadily dropping. And during the day on Sunday, only three for your high under mostly sunny skies, windy, we'll have some blowing and drifting snow. And then on Monday, sunshine, we get up to 15 degrees after a morning low of 7 below zero, and then it just gets warmer. Tuesday, some sunshine and 28 degrees. By Wednesday, partly cloudy and 32. Could see a snow shower or a rain-snow mix on Thursday, 34 degrees. And on Friday, also 34 degrees. Now both those temperatures are above freezing, but it will not make a dent in our snow. We will definitely have a very white, a white Christmas. Very